hi guys it's nana here so today i'm going to be doing my january monthly spread and it's kind of sad but there's nothing happening for me in january but i still want to do my spread so i chose this monthly kit from gp sticker studio it's her fresh start kit so you have the bars that go up the top some washi strips some labels the box that goes where the months in the the days in the month that don't belong they go there some asterisks hearts flags some hexagons icons and then you have like your sidebar stuff your rescheduled cancel your holidays your labels bill dues paydays so when i bought this i don't know what i was thinking because this kit is meant for an Erin Condren and then for the Recollections Planner, we go from Sunday to Tuesday, whereas in the Erin Condren, it goes from Sunday over here to Wednesday and then they have the sidebar at this side. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing some kind of like sticker surgery. So I've already cut these boxes. So we're going to see how this truly goes so pray for me guys finger cross we can do fingers crossed we can do this so i actually think i'm gonna put down this one first and i got this in the glossy i don't know why i guess i was feeling a bit fancy even though i think her vinyl would have been perfect for my first attempt at this sticker surgery because i think this is the first time i'm going to be using a sticker kit in hair in this planner in this recollections planner and I don't have undo so whatever goes goes all right so that went down okay and then Wednesday like I said I'd already cut that box so let's see how this goes I'm just gonna bump it up against the Thursday you're gonna see like an indication of where the sticker is split but that's okay with me just bump it up this side should be fine because it's two like flat sides straight sides so that was okay it's a bit lean over here I could trim off that excess and I could trim off this excess but I'm gonna leave those for now and it's so pretty I love her paper it's a bit thick but it's still nice and then for January over here I'm going to just line it up how I've been doing and there we go it's so pretty so we have an excess but we've been having excesses so that's okay I guess the Erin Condren is a bit wider and then for this deco I'm gonna put it over here We're gonna line up the flat edges sorry if you if you guys are seeing too much of my hand but i'm trying to get this like super perfect i guess i could have flipped my planner around but not i wasn't in the mood for all of that all right so there we go so i think for my first sticker surgery it came out pretty good i mean it's not seamless but it's pretty seamless if you guys can see so that's nice I feel good I think that was the part that was concerning me the most so I feel pretty good and then down here it would be the same thing because I think it wouldn't work let me see I think when I was like pre measuring it it was like slightly too big so I'm gonna put this down and put this down yeah it's slightly too big so I should be doing some sticker surgery but I don't know and I would cut this girl so I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Alright, so I'm actually really excited. So I'm going to get started with my sidebar. So it comes with four like sidebar thingies. Oh, there's like a blank one for the 31st here. And I'm going to use this one because it's like a whited out box. It's like a whited out box and I was thinking of putting it over here and then doing like my word of the year but it can go right here under Sunday and I can still put my word of the year 
right in this box so that's exciting all right so like i'm saying i'm going to be doing the sidebar um like i don't really usually use kits so i don't usually typically do over here i just tend to put like deco and stuff but this kit doesn't come with deco actually so i'm just gonna use the boxes that come with it and i'm gonna go from here this way so i'm gonna do like the light gray the marble then the birch tree then the green yeah to bring some green to the bottom of the page more than likely this is going to be like excess just like the all the other stickers but that's okay this is kind of like overlapping just a tad but right her stickers are super thick i can't imagine using these stickers for like the entire year it would fill up your planner a whole lot but I like, I just like how her glossy feels. It's super glossy. I'm trying to keep this as straight as possible. I mean, I don't want to mess it up. And I think this month I'm actually going to use my sidebar. Because it is New Year's and I have a couple of things that I want to keep track of. Or goals that I want to set. So this is not going to be like where I put my New Year's resolutions or anything, but it's going to be like a like a backdrop, I guess. Just a reminder. So for my headers, I definitely want to put finances. So we're going to put finances and I'm going to do this here. Because I have a couple things that I want to do financially, especially this year, this month in particular. Oh, it's not. I thought it would have gone straight across, but I guess you have to. Oops. Oh, it took up the page. You have to center it. Like I said, her glossy is like super glossy. And then I want to do a next month. Should I do a next month? Mm. I want to do a next month because I don't know. It just would, I think it would be fun. So we're gonna put next month at the bottom. So you just kind of line it up with the labels down below. right perfect and then i think i am going to do a goals or a monthly to do maybe a monthly to do let's do monthly to do and let's do let's do goals so monthly to do sorry goals at the top This is messing me up oh my god <laughs> it was like stuck all right goals and a monthly to do I have a couple things that I need to do that are just regarding like January all right so that's super cute guys all right so let's get started in our day today like i said not much is going on for this month so i'm gonna put down the holiday new year's day goes right at the bottom and i'm thinking that the erin condren boxes are like slightly wider because this is slightly going over but that's okay and then even though i don't celebrate martin Tin Luther King Jr. Day. It's in the planner, so I'm just gonna put it down. And I have a sticker for it, so why not? Oh, but this fit perfectly ish. Alright, so that's that. So paydays are the 5th and the 19th, and I'm gonna use I'm gonna try and use this like neon yellow color. Wait, 
we have date dots typically i don't have date dots so that's different so i'm just gonna put payday should i put it i'm gonna put it in the corner i love seeing like persons put it in the corner so i finally get to do that uh Put it in the opposite corner like that and then yeah her stickers are really thick it's kind of like die cut thick and that's different and then we have payday here on the 19th great all right so let me pull up my plans my barrel barely plans so i have two birthdays i have my super great friend birthday on the 11th and then i have my friend on the 15th so i don't think she has any half boxes no all of her things are like quarter box size that's okay so we're just gonna put this here for my friend but I want to put something else because she's a really good friend but maybe I should just make it super obvious in my weekly spread hmm. or maybe I should give her a full box no let's not give her a full box and then this friend we're just gonna stack it on this Because if you guys don't know, I like to do my monthlies, like, I just like to have my bare bones and then I go back and anything that happens, I kind of fill it in, in the space. So I'm going to use the green birthday cake. Yeah, green birthday cake here. And I'm kind of doing like a monthly smackdown reminiscent of Holly Plans in that I'm going to only be using things from the kit even though I feel so bad she's a really good friend I want to put like ribbons and banners and everything to signify her birthday and she's turning a nice round age so I really want to do that but we're gonna let that be maybe I I'll pull it up and put down like one of the decorated decorative boxes I don't know maybe so those are the two birthdays that I have and then I don't have anything going on until the 7th I have a yoga class that I want to go to that's Sunday so we're gonna she should have had some half boxes that's a bummer so on the 7th we're gonna go to this yoga class first time Go in here so that should be exciting and she has like some yoga stickers sorry she has like some workout stickers she has these like green trainer green sneakers guys sneakers that's what they're called and when you layer one of her stickers on top of the other sticker, that is so huge. Actually, maybe I should take this up and put like a flag or something. Guys, I'm so indecisive. Okay, so free yo the yoga day. And then I just have the birthdays, which I did already. And then because I didn't really have that much to mark, I decided to start marking like some movies. I always say that I'm gonna watch movies, but then when it's time for me to watch, when I have the free time to watch any movies, I don't know what movie to watch. I tend to stick to older movies, but I wanna kinda keep up on the newer movies. So I just looked up the movies for that's coming out in January, and I decided that I'm just gonna mark them in the planner. So hopefully I can remember to go and watch them. So I'm just going to use, I have three movies to mark. Forever My Girl, Molly's Game, and Proud Mary. 
So I'm trying to figure out what should I use. I don't want to use my label boxes. Because I just don't want to. I could just use the asterisk. But I want to put the asterisk on something. Or I could just use the heart. Alright, so I'm going to use these flags here just because I don't have anything else really going on this month. So I have Molly's Game on the 5th, coming out on the 5th. I don't even think that was one of them that I really, really wanted to watch. But we're going to mark it, Molly's Game. So we're going to use the hearts and this is just for me so I'm gonna mark it and then like probably like a couple months down the road I'm gonna look back and say oh I want to watch a movie what movies came out and then I'm gonna go back in my planner and look at these movies and then we have proud Mary coming out on the 12th this one I actually do kind of want to watch. It has Taraji P. Henson in there and I'm obsessed with her. And then the last one is Forever My Girl on the 19th. Oh, they're all Fridays. Ha, ah, didn't realize that. <laughs> On the 19th probably should have used a label just because it would have taken up less space but that's okay all right so what else do I have to mark so this month I'm only working two Saturdays I'm working the 6th and I'm working the 20th so I'm going to use these labels I'm gonna use the two green labels yeah So this is a really slow month for me guys usually I'd be working like every Saturday but not this month so the 6th and the 20th and for work I am just going to put these asterisks these not asterisks yeah let's use the asterisks so this is for the same job. So let's put these two colors. And then on the 30th, I have another job at a different place. So I'm going to use this kind of like glittery label, not really glitter, but So we're going to put that here. And then we're going to use the green asterisk. I want to put a heart for my friend's birthday, guys. Alright, so that is that it. Oh, my bill dues. So, I am going to pay, my bills are typically due like on the 15th and the end of the month, but I like to prepay them. So, today is the 4th, today is the 4th, and I'm going to be paying some bills today. So, we're going to put these two bill dues. I like to pay them like right before my payday. And I think I have oh she doesn't have like any day off stickers bummer so the fourth and the... probably not the 18th I'm probably gonna do it I typically do it on Wednesdays so the 17th
And then on the 28th, I have a build due. I really like how her background is clear. It's so cute. Like her sticker backing is clear. It's different. All right, so that's for my bill dues. And that is pretty much it. I would put down these decorative full boxes, but I don't know where to put it. I really feel like I should have given my friend a full box like right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her a full box because I feel bad. She's a really good friend and she deserves to be special. Even though it's my planner. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to struggle to lift up this. To lift this up. Ah, came up pretty easily actually. And then this was kind of pushed over because of that. So I'm going to lift this up too. And I'm going to put down the avocado for her. Just get it perfect, perfect. Put down this for the movie. And then she's gonna go right in the middle. All right, great. All right, for the other boxes, I'm gonna put it on the ninth, looking like. I only have three more, so I'm gonna put one on the ninth. And then the last one I'm gonna put I feel like I should keep it over here on the 23rd hmm. right here it's kind of blank but I don't want two boxes beside each other maybe on the 21st I don't typically do anything on Sundays right so we're gonna put it on the 21st Alright, so it's super cute. Pretty bare, but still cute. Alright, so I'm going to speed through me putting down the date dots because I don't usually do that. And I know it's going to take me forever. And I'm going to pull out my tweezers to make it even better. So I will be back with that.
Hi guys, so I'm back. This wasn't the number dots were as bad as I thought they would be, and it's so cute. I really, really like it. It's simple, it's not too glam. Like, I know a lot of persons would have gone for the glam version of New Year's, but I kind of went for the fresh start, new beginnings of New Year's. Oh, this says this is the beginning of anything that you want. Going through what's left, I have. Some asterisks, some arrows, a whole bunch of icons that I doubt I'm gonna use. Then we have the rescheduled, cancelled, some sidebar headers, some paydays, three labels. Then we have two labels on this one and then some washi strips. So the washi strips I might end up using. This, I'm going to end up using the washi strips, but I think it was a pretty effective or efficient kit just because I used most of the kit up. Um, I wish she did have some like larger labels or half boxes so you know kind of differentiate, but other than that, I really really like this kit and I love that my sticker surgery actually worked out, so that means that I can buy like Erin Conjuring kits as long as like the Wednesday is kind of blank so I don't cut into the clip art. Alright guys, so that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!